Hey guys, got a little project in mind based on one of Robert Murray Smith's videos, or in fact a few of them. Uh, you've probably seen my stove fan before, picked it up in a charity shop, nice and cheap. Uh, £3.99 from the looks of it. Uh, what Robert's been doing is evaporative cooling. This is a uh, wet foam brick, as it calls it here, from Wilco. It's a piece of sort of foam that absorbs water. Uh, use it for flower decorating, or if you call it flower arranging. Um, the idea is you get that full of water, and as the water is evaporating from it, it cools down. So I'm going to soak that, hopefully get it completely full of water. I've got a tray there I got from Poundland that may or may not be good enough for what I want to do. Sit it on there. Depends how much water we can get to soak up in it. I may need a deeper tray. And then under that, what we've got there is a tile placemat. Um, slate tile placemat from Poundland. Uh, I think it was £1.50. I think what I'm hoping is if I place that on top of that that will actually uh, help the evaporation and if I sit that on top of that then when this gets cool that should cool the bottom of that and hopefully sun hitting the top of that means we'll get a pre temperature difference which the Peltier tile, as I like to call it, although a lot of people have started calling it something else now. Um, hopefully there'll be enough temperature difference there to actually run the electric motor. Now the more I think about it the less likely it is that's going to happen. Um, for a start, <laughs> we don't have sunshine. There is some blue sky up there, but it's a lot of grey cloud. So that's a bit of a non-starter straight away. Ooh, the colour's gone a bit bright now. Um, so that might be a problem. Worst case scenario, I might even run a hairdryer on this or something to try and heat it up, just see if we can get it working. Uh, Robert used a piece of black cloth rather than a title like this. I'm, well, we will see. Because that's not a nice smooth surface, we might not get enough conduction. But I'll set it up and we'll see what happens. Sun's shining out there at the moment. Hmm. Right, the tray was a non-starter because I wanted to have more water in there to make sure this had something to soak up. Um, temperature. The table at the moment. It's at 32. The Oasis. 21. So we'll put that on top. And that should start to cool down in the middle, even though it's got the sunlight on the outside. Uh, that's 28.6 and 33 in the corner. 26. So that is going down in the middle, but I doubt whether that's going to give us a big enough temperature difference for 
for this to work because that cold has got to travel up into here and we haven't got a good thermal connection there. I'd have to put thermal paste or something underneath to help that. And then we're relying on the sunlight hitting the top. Only 30 there, 31 on the very top. Yeah, about 31. So 31 on the top. The tile itself, 29 where I'm shining it. How about the base of here? Well, that's 32. So that's hopeless. That's actually warmer at the bottom than it is at the top. I don't know, that's gone up to 34 now. But that's not getting cold enough. I don't think we've got hope of this working the way I've got it set up. But I will leave it and we'll come back and check the temperatures later. If this doesn't cool down in the middle there, I'll just do away with it and put the stove fan straight on the oasis. Because that will give us a better uh, heat connection, thermal connection. I'm getting impatient, so we'll try it this way, straight on the oasis. That's much better. That's only 27 down there now. At the oasis itself. The oasis itself is 25. So, On focus. Thirty three. Thirty three to twenty nine. We've only got about a four degree temperature difference, if that. I'd expect it to go that way, to be honest. Well, I thought I might as well put the Stirling engine on there as well. But I think we've lost the sunshine now. There's still a bit, but uh, there's clouds up there covering the sun. So, might have to leave this for another day. See if we can get more heat, better sunshine. I'd still like to use that to um, conduct the heat. But in fact, that is hot, just laying in the sun. The idea was that heats up the top of the oasis, encouraging it to evaporate. But I think that's actually adding too much heat to the bottom of the stove fan because that actually feels nice and cold or feels cold compared to that that is hot that is cold and that's not very warm now the sun's gone in this will all be upside down 33 on the above the peltier tile and only 32 below it so there's very little difference there down there, 30. The oasis itself, 24. How about the top of the Stirling engine? Top of the Stirling engine, 31. Oh, 33 around that side. 
So 33 to 21. That's got a fighting chance of running. Not quite enough. Anyway, I realise Nanny's chatting away in the background there, so I'll stop filming. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.